Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be discussing and actually cutting on the Pinewood Derby block. It's uh, going to be I'm going to be using a mite or a uh, coping saw today. I picked this up at uh, one of the discount tool suppliers. It can also be purchased at a Boy Scout office. And I already went and made a few lines, kind of drew out a design. I didn't use any stencils, I just used a couple rulers and pencil. So we'll go ahead and start cutting on this block. It's going to be pretty basic. No uh, power tools used on this. And if you have your cub working on this, you know, use safety glasses. It's not going to hurt using it. It teaches uh, really good safety skills. Or, uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and start cutting on the block. Just working on the, the main design. So as we also make the cuts, if you'd like, uh, you can buy a couple of clamps, clamp it to a table, as well as if you have a bench vise, go ahead and clamp it into that. It's going to secure it uh, really well, so you're able to make a little more precision cuts. So let's go ahead and start cutting, and we'll finish this up just for the basic design. Get the tools that I've used, rulers and coping saw. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've gotten the uh, the rear portion cut off. Uh, it took a few minutes. Now with this, for the cab of the car, I needed to make a few extra cuts. The uh, Line only be, with the miter saw, it's tough to cut lengthwise. So, by making quite a few little cuts to the depth you would like, it makes removal of these a little easier. Uh, if you have a little wood chisel, that's always helpful. And I believe I actually have one, I'm going to be using that. Again, it's just a wood chisel that can be purchased at any hardware store. Um, otherwise, if you make pieces but the cut small enough, even a little hammer, you may be able to tap it out using the claws off the hammer, possibly. Uh, you just need to be careful so you don't break the uh, car. Now that I've sawed most of the cab down, I still have quite a bit of material left, and there's a couple options that can be used. Using a heavy grit sandpaper, the heavier the, the better for this. There's a lot of material that needs to be removed. What I prefer is to use a wood rasp. There's a couple different sides. This here is pretty heavy duty. And whether or not you're going to be just holding it, and sanding it, removes a lot of wood material. I'm actually going to be clamping it down so I can be a little more aggressive with it. If you have the clamps, they can be purchased at some of the discount tool supply stores. And they work really well. You can clamp it down your kitchen table. You can put some towels in between so you don't scratch your table. Or if you have an old piece of plywood or well, any type of plywood you're able to clamp to. Just something to really secure it down so you're not going to be running this across your hands. Wearing gloves is not a bad idea for this. Uh, if, if this was a slip as you're moving forward, it's going to take your skin off. So. Something to try, otherwise sandpaper, depending on the design, that is going to be something I will be using later on as the sandpaper just to help smooth the block up from the rough cut. Okay, so the wood rasp made really quick work of getting this area of the cab cleaned out. Still fairly rough. I'm going to be switching over to a much smoother file. I, I really don't know the actual grit for it. And before I go into this, I'm going to finish my cut here for the front of the car, getting a nice angle and uh, make it look a little more aerodynamic. And again, I'm going to start by making many cuts, slices going across the front to close to the depth 
of the actual angle, just so that way as I'm sawing the angle, the uh, material will fall off and just making that the process a little easier. And here I'm still cutting, making these uh, slices down to where the lines mark. It is a little time consuming, however it can be done just with the coping saw. So now I'm starting to make the cut down the angle that I would like for the front of the car. And so I've been using the saw. Now after I, I've used just a little towel and a bench vise uh, for these cuts, it just makes it easier. And so as I'm cutting, I'm just having these little tabs pop off. And so as these little tabs bust loose, it just clears out some of the workspace. One important thing is make sure you're following your line. If you have material to the top, that's fine. You can sand that down, use the rasp, take care of that. If you go below the line, towards the bottom of the car, you're going to lose some of your angle and then you just you can't really add to the wood it's always better to leave a little bit and sand down to where you need it so now i'm going to just start using this rasp taking off more material working my way down to the line so now that i've gotten down to the line i've taken out the heavy rasp and went down to just a very fine wood file and you're going to use that just to start smoothing it. It's similar to a sandpaper. One of the tools that I also use when building Pinewood Derby cars is a digital scale. So it's important to keep track of the weight of your car. If you don't have one but have access to a post office, you can go there and use their scale. All right, so now it's time to sand. We have the design cut. It's fairly smooth from using the files and the rasp. And so there's a few different types of sandpaper that I have. 40 grit, very, very coarse. I'm not going to use it because I have this much smoother than the 40 would get. Uh, the next I have a 60 grit. It's good for really uh, smoothing out some of these lines left from the rasp. Uh, they'll probably end up using that. I have some 80. And then end up going into 150, 220, and a 400 for a very smooth finish. All right, so I've gone ahead, finished with the 150. It's, it has a really nice, smooth finish. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click like, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you'll get the notices when I post my other videos for making the Pinewood Derby.